everybody. So I have a new journal planner planner <laughs> to show you. I decided I wanted to try the Hobonichi Techo again. I had tried it, um, I think five years ago, four or five years ago, I won their regular January to February one, and, or January, you know, the entire year. And, um, and I liked it. So, and I just journaled in it. I just kind of used it as a diary, sort of. So I want to open this and show it to you and what I'm going to use it for. And then I want to show you just kind of a recap on how my other journals are going. <clears throat> and I also got this ink I'm going to use for it. This is the brand of cartridge ink that I use and like. And so I am going to switch out um, the black I'm using and use the sepia tone in here. Okay, so this is the, sp the, the spring, the original version from Japan, and I actually got it through um, Amazon. So it goes for a whole year. Um, and so let's just open it. No, this is where it opens. Yep, right there. Oh, because it's all the way over here. Okay. I, of course, will use this packaging in my regular journal because you guys know I like packaging. All right, so here, here it is. And here is the Life book. And this is an A6. And the one I got was their English version a few years ago, and it wasn't as pretty as this. And I really like this, even though it's all in... Uh, uh, kanji, I believe. So look at that. <laughs> Have a wonderful year. Isn't that cute? Anyway, so this explains, this is their life book. Of course, I can't read it, but it just kind of shows um, different ways of using it and the different sizes. Like I said, I got this on Amazon. So I'll keep that. I'll use that for my ephemera as well. So here's the size. Now, um, this is the other one Another one I've got that is similar, but is uh, a blank. It's not a calendar page thing that I worked up for this year, just for note taking. So I'll show that later. But if you compare, um, they're basically the same size. So when you open it, <clears throat> and I'm gonna decorate the cover, I think, you have the calendar and they actually have um, 2021 and 2023, and then here's 2022. If you look here on the sides, you can see the indexes, and you can see that this is all different colors, and it goes through March of 2023, and it starts in April. And it's April 21st today, so. Not too bad. All right, so here is the tracker page. Um, and I don't know yet how I'm gonna use this, but um, I know some people use it as an index. I've been watching some uh, YouTube videos lately on people who use the uh, Hobonichi Techo original. And um, so I wanna see how they, how they use it. And then, so you just go through that um, all the way through. Actually, um, it starts, let me see where it starts. It actually starts in February of this year and goes all the way through May of 2023. And it's just a column per month. And then you have the monthly pages, uh, which I really like. So it's just a nice, small, probably perfect size for me for a planner because I don't have that much stuff I have to plan. Um, so you have this open space here on the side and across the bottom. And this actually does have the English. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is very helpful. I'm glad they have that. And that has starts with February as well. 
and goes all the way through May of 2023, which is fantastic. And then um, this is them turning the page. This is just right before you start. And there's just some note areas. So I'll probably use that for something special with planning. And then you have this blank page before you get into the month. And then the months are set up according to different colors each month. As you can see which is great so you could always coordinate with the color if if you want and they even have like um, the lines are coordinated with the colors and all the writing and it's all in Japanese and the English version you get um, these quotes would be in English but you have up here you have the the, the month and the day and then you don't have the day of the week. So I would probably um, just put in an initial like M or TH or something for that so that I know what it is. And you also have this calendar um, down here, the month calendar, which also marks that for you. And then you've got, um, so right here, let me use something. Right here is the dividing line, so you could probably put tasks in here or whatever you want. This is the hours of the day. Um, it goes from 6 a.m. and then this is, um, what is it, continental time or uh, whatever that time is. It's not standard, but 6, 9, 12, and then I believe uh, 15 is 3 o'clock, 18 is 6 o'clock, 21 is 9 o'clock. So I believe that's how that works. So six in the morning till, you know, 3 a.m. And then this whole area right here, you can use for writing things in. So I have to figure out how I want to set it up. I don't know yet. And then you have little task checkoffs here. And this is sometimes used as a tracker as well. Like, did you do whatever? If you're going to do exercise, water, whatever, you could use this as a tracker. So, um there's that option so that just is it and when you come to the end of the month and I'm gonna start using this in May so I'll use these back pages um, for something else but then when you come to the new month you have a blank page again basically and there was obviously a quote here and then you just continue on and so if you get to the very end there are some note pages so if you want to take um, some notes. There's some graph paper back here. Just a few sheets, pages of that. Then you have a timetable. So I'm not really sure what that is used for, but um, maybe it's something that repeats every week, every month. I have to look into that, see what other people do. There's a graph paper that you can use as well, I assume for some kind of tracking, that's something else I'm gonna watch, some YouTube videos, and see what people use those for. And then favorites, and I also wanna check and see what people use these for, but it looks like, okay, a favorite book, or, um, and I think you can put the date here, movie, book, music, uh, maybe restaurant or food, shopping, and I don't know what the applause hands are for. Something else I have to figure out. So you see there's quite a few pages. There's a few pages of that. Um, then my 100, so I've got to look up what that's about because I don't know. <laughs> and, and here they just, I'm sure these are just things to tell you like about doodling, different things you can do. Um, helps, which of course this is not in English, so I can't really do a lot about that. Um, but it's cute, whatever it is. I like the little doodles. I do want to try to doodle in this as well, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm pretty excited about this. Gifts, that's nice. I don't know what all this stuff is. Um, it's things I've got to find out. So I will just have to find out what some of this stuff is, because I don't know. Addresses, personal notes. So I assume this is for my personal information. And then that's it. So this, I'm gonna try this out 
Um, I like it because it's colorful. It's not just gray. So I really like that. So here is, um, it's going to go in here. This is a Webster Pages for the A6 size. But I also have this. And I have a blotting paper. So blotting paper will, will go in here as well. And I do want to index um, some things as well. But since I am going to start in May, I'm just going to slip this in May for now. Um, or else I'll just put it in here. So this is the cover. This is a cover I got from them. And it has pen holder things here. But I thought just to protect it, um, I would put it in here. But I want to decorate this cover as well. And then I will just slip it in here and this will just give it some extra protection. Plus my pen is in here. So that's good. So before I do want to do a decorating thing, I do want to switch out my ink. And let's just give this a try. This is a Pilot Metro pen, fountain pen. It's the ones that I use. I have them in teal, purple, green, and this uh, orange color. So this still has quite a bit of ink, which is fine. I'm just gonna, I think I just switched this one out not long ago. And um, actually, when I hold it up to the light, there is still some ink in there, so um, I have to think about whether I'm gonna just, if I have another pen, I just filled up one of my pens, and I don't know how far my green one is. I'm kind of curious. And that, that looks about the same as far as how much ink is left. So maybe I can just put this in a little protective baggie and um, use this later on. So for now, I'm going to put it somewhere and pray that I remember I put it someplace else. Otherwise, it's just going to dry out. I'm not going to worry about it. All right, so let me just get one of these out. I'm dying to see what this color looks like. I, I have one that I have purple ink in. Um, let me show you my purple ink, which I'd like. Um, and I don't use this one often. This pen is often, so um, it doesn't always but I do like it. It's pretty. It's a pretty color. And I'll show you that journal I use it in too. Because I don't want to show you my journals. Um, okay, so usually what I do when I get one of these cartridges is I just kind of warm it up a little bit like this in my hand. So it doesn't take so long <laughs> to get the ink to come out. And then um, put it in here. And then just screw this back in. And then usually what I do is I just tap it on my finger and I go like this. <laughs> Whatever I have to do to get it to start writing, it's still got some black ink in here. So let's just um, scribble until we can use this black ink up and it starts changing color to my new color because I didn't use it up. It's still in here. So I'm hoping it will change over soon. Do, do, do. Cause I don't think that, maybe that, I don't think that's, cause this is the black. So here's the black. So this sepia should definitely be a brown color. I just kind of got, you know, I do like to use a planner now and again, and I just thought, you know, it would really be helpful for me if I would just use a planner. Um, so that's the idea. As you can see, this is still the black. It might take a while for me to use this up. I might just have to wait and show it to you another time. If I can't get it to switch over because I still had ink 
in here. Because I'm pretty sure this isn't the color. It should be that brown. And I want to see it so bad, but okay. I'll have to come back, I guess. Shouldn't. I don't know, like, how much ink is in, um, like, in there. But obviously plenty. So we're just going to come back. Because obviously it's not ready yet. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about that. We will just come back to that and show you later. All right, so I, I before I get this set up, I do want to show you the other things I'm using. So I get uh, a lot of inserts from Nanami, uh, Paper Seas, all, uh, Paper, wait, Nanami Paper Company, Seven Seas, and they're also made in Japan, and they are also, it's the Nanami Paper Company, and they also do the Tomoe River paper, and they do all the sizes, and they do the graph paper um, in the A6 size, which is this, and there are 400, 384 pages. So what I did with this one is I just added these index cards as markers, dividers, so I have to do, I have remember um, events, trips, camping, and health. So I don't really, the ones I've really only used so far the most, um, I did a trip, so I do the packing list and menu if we're doing that type of thing. Here I've got things to bring for the new camping season to make sure in the trailer. And then I've got the first camping trip where I do the menu and I do the packing. So that's how I use that. Um, in the remember, I've got birthdays and anniversaries. And that's all at this point, and that's really all I've used it for. And I think it'll just, it's just kind of a, where I should be jotting notes in more. And I, I hope I to start using this more, and then this will be a planner. And then these two, obviously, would be ones I would use quite a bit. That's, that's the plan. So in the Nanami paper series, I also use it for other journals. And they used to have the graph journals, but now... For the A5, they only have the dot grid, which I don't like as well, but it's okay. So this is my daily creative journal. So this is a, an A5, 7 C's micro dot, 480 pages. And I am currently using three of these. So first off, I'm using this one as my creative journal. And this is where I just talk about the day. What did I do during the day? And I decorate it. Um, so it's a fun journal. For me, it ends up being a thick journal. <laughs> um, and maybe too thick in this case. I'd like to do more writing and maybe less putting of stuff in so it doesn't get so thick. Because look at this, I'm already, I'm only in April, almost done with April, so four months. And it's already this thick, so something I probably should do something about. The other two inserts I use in here, and this is my faith journaling, that every day I use this. So I do the SOAP Bible study method, which is scripture, observation, application, and prayer. Um, I completed one of these. I did two years and one when they still had the graph paper. And so now I'm, this is what I do every single day. And then I have my prayer one, which will last me forever and ever. <laughs> and I put the prayers in here, and then I just highlight when a prayer has been answered. And it's also gratitude. So every day there's, I thank God for something. And if there's any prayer requests, things I need to pray about, I number them and put them in. And there's some I pray every day, some I just pray once a week. They always stay... Um, open but there's a number so I know that it's a prayer request and then if it's an answered prayer it just gets or there's no reason to pray anymore for it then it just gets done that way so that's how that is and um, I use my teal colored pen for this one 
And this is a tan cover from our Atelier Rosie Tan that she made, custom made for me. And this um, tea and cover is a um, paper or cloth that my daughter made for me. So we'll put that over here. And then I have this one. This cover is from Apple Pig. And it's a B6, I believe. What did I say? What's this? This is an A6. I think this is a B6 size, if I remember right. And I just have my own uh, different things I bought, inserts I bought from people for this. And I do my word of the year in here. And this year, my word is empowered. And I just write down verses if I come across a verse that goes with it. And then this is my spiritual faith and otherwise very personal journal. So this is the second one I've done. It's a Tomoe River paper and I do a watercolor background and I write in the purple ink in here. And I don't journal in this every day. This is uh, just uh, more occasional. Now the other thing I'm doing is I decided, um, I bought the Stayology, which is a 365 as well. And I, it's very, Paint. You can't like you can hardly even read it. I can hardly read it, but it's supposed to be like a page per day, and that's it. There's nothing else. So I decided I'm going to use this for my health journey because I'm doing a study right now, a Lisa Turkish study called "I'll Starting on Monday, Breaking the Cycle of Unhealthy Eating Habits with Lasting Spiritual Satisfaction." And so all the notes are gonna go in here. I think I'm gonna write, make it a food log as well, and an exercise log, uh, water, just a general health um, thing. And I'm probably not gonna put it in a cover. So that's, I'm gonna use that for that. The other thing I'm gonna use when I work in my planner, I want to use is I've got a bag here of some supplies so let me show you what's in here so I have um, a couple of water brush pens if, if I want to do watercolor and just one of these really very basic very very basic <laughs> um, Windsor Newton watercolors and a couple of a couple of Hands, and then my white out which I always need and then um, in this bottom one I've got um, a pencil a mechanical pencil a good one and this is uh, an eraser type of pencil and this is my cross pen which writes a lighter lighter writing so I thought well I'll bring that too and then I've got for now um, I got these dual point pens, a brush pen and a point. Um, and these, let's just bring this paper back. I have several colors. So let's take this brown one here. And I forget who did these. Where do I get these? Double-ended brush marker. I have no idea. But this is the regular point. Okay. And I thought that would be good to use in the book. And this is the brush. Okay. So that's something I'm, I think I'm going to use in this. I want this color to be like, it annoys me that I can't <laughs> all this time and I can't. I haven't got the color I want. I don't know how long it'll take and I'll just I'm just gonna have to keep writing with it till it decides it's gonna switch over for me so I can actually show you the sepia color because I extremely want to see the sepia over anything else at this point but come on like is it changing no it's not <laughs> still black. Anyway, so what I want to do here is I want to decorate this. 
Now I do have these colors, these colors from our Taylor. I got these beautiful, um, gorgeous vinyl stickers. I really like them. I'm trying to decide which one I really want in here. So I kind of like to like put this here um, and then I could cover up like what I want to know. <laughs> Here's what I want to know is let's say I do this owl. See, I won't see it through here. And that's what I wondered is if I did this, would I have to put the owl on top of there? And obviously, yes. And, and I could cover, you know, I could try to figure out a way to cover this up. So I'm going to get this sticker off and at least decorate this. If I can get it off. Come on. But I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to be so fantastic. So let's do this right, right about here. Okay. Then I can do, um, I can plan kind of what I want to do here. So I kind of really like some of this stuff. All right, so it's kind of a, do I want to go like this, this foresty thing? And then I can have like, that's not the sepia, so I don't like that, but this is. And just kind of, I could do that. And then um, what about the owl? I could put the owl like right here. But then I also want something just to cover that up. So let me see what else I've got. I really like um, the nature. The nature type stuff is what really speaks to me. But I need something that will work. Here's another owl, but he's too light. So let me see if I can find something in this green. Maybe like a leaf or something. I just want to cover up that, that one spot. If I can find something that's going to work. So I'm just going to try a couple of things. I'm just going to pull a couple of things out. Okay, so um, here's one option. That's too much. Here's another. So I could put this like here. Like I don't need to keep it all, but just part of it. Um, like I could go like this. I'm going to, I would cut some pieces off and put this here or no owl at all. So let's put the owl away. And let's just have the squirrel. All right. And then let's look at some of these other options for up here then, because for sure this. So since I already know that, that this is not going to change, I like this, I'm going to put this on. So come on. Okay, here we go. Yeah, because I really like this one. So this one, we're going to let it extend out just a little bit. Okay, because that's okay. It doesn't have to be in the jar. I just like the jar. I think that's, that's the only thing. And then I got to get my name on here someplace as well. Or the date. Maybe the date. Something. I haven't figured that out yet. Okay. So here's a squirrel, so he can go right 
here. So he'll cover up that spring word. And then I just need, see that? What about that? Too much color, right? I kind of like this better than the other things I was looking at, actually. And I could just do some trimming and make this work really well. Like I could put it here and then just trim off the part I don't want. So let's do that. So first we'll get it on. And then I'll just take off that, that part I, I don't want on here. I just kind of want to cover up some of the writing like this. And then, then I can just come here okay perfect and then if I want um, I could just have this here as if it's coming down off the very top of this page right there all right I really like this Okay, I do have some letters I think I can use. Let me just go into my stuff here. All right, here we go. I can either, like, yeah. I do have these letters, so I'm going to just grab some of these and do my, do my name or 2022 or just um, it starts April so let's put April so I know I like to really know what my dates are when I'm doing this these are just some stickers I have that are see-through so let's see I don't I don't worry about the style when I'm doing this. I just grab whatever and use it, whatever I have, whatever I can find. <laughs> Let me see. I know I've got some. R's get used up so quickly. It looks like I have one capital R left. So we are going to use that. Um, I should try and get some more of these kind of stickers. There's so many letters in them that you don't use, and then there's a ton that uh, you use all the time. So it gets a little bit crazy. But let's just go like this. Um, we'll just start there. P, and this will have the protective plastic cover over it. Poor R. <laughs> but I think this is going to work well. April. And it's okay. We'll just go like this. April um, 20. I'm going to use the lighter ones, I think. 2022. So we can go like this. So I peel them off the pay paper, the ones I want. I stick them on my finger or my thumb in this case, and then I use a tweezer. And that really works the best. 2022, and then we can just do the word two in small. Small lettering to May. So M A Y, and we want twenty twenty three. So twenty. Where's my other two? 
two that I want to use. I'm trying not to use like the really bold twos numbers um, for the year. Okay. All right. Two, and we're going to put that over here. T O. And then I can go down here and go M. A. I. And this will be 2023. 20, 20. Okay, and then if I want to put my name on here, um, just my first name, I can't, well, I can if I do small letters, so T, E, oops, Ugh, lifted up some letters I didn't want, R, here's some R's. And I, and then I'm gonna just do a K, a big K, and that should be sufficient for this. And I really don't need anything else. Um, this works just fine. So let me put the rest of this back in here because I don't need that. And we were just, all I'm gonna do is just put my name across the bottom here. T. E. Try to let, line it up somewhat straight. I. K. All right. There, I really like that. I think that's good. Okay, so. If I don't wanna, so now I can just put it in this protective cover. It just gives it a little bit more protection in this plastic cover. And I ordered, I think I ordered this cover from, I don't know if I got it. I just got it or ordered it, but when I go, like if I don't want to take like this whole big thing with me like this, I don't have to. I can just take this and this actually has the place for the pen. So I can just put my pen in here. And I was going to do this so that it was the other way around. So. I did it the wrong way. Let's do this again. I wanna make sure I have the end that I want. Yeah, so I don't even have to bring, like put this in a traveler's notebook. I can just actually, I think, I think I'm not gonna, cause I think it's gonna be easier to use this um, in this rather than this. So I think what I'll do is just take a couple things out of here because I can totally just do this. Let me, let me get this going. You have to kind of get it started. But I can just totally do this and um, that's actually perfect. I like that. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm not even going to use this. But I do want to toss a couple things in here um, that I like, just so I have them. Like here on the back, I'm going to just put in, okay, so now I have to, to see, you should just think about doing these things like before you actually do them. <laughs> but I'm just gonna put it right there. It doesn't even go with the style, but I'm going to just do it anyway. 
And let's see if we can't get it straight so it doesn't look uh, totally crooked. And just put a little more tape there. I just want it to hold it. I think it's really pretty. Okay, push that in. There, beauty in the small. And then I'm just gonna put a couple other things. And here I have my old note card. Um, so it does have like my Etsy, my YouTube, and my Instagram. Um, oh, it has everything in here. So I'm just gonna put this here because then that's my information. And then back here, I'm just gonna put this because I just like this. So I'm gonna stick this here. And then I'm not going to use this this year. And then I, and then, <laughs> I'll have both of these together. So this cover, which I got from somebody else, and this and I can just take these two with me and they'll be they'll really be perfect for using together and here's the piece of paper for this one which I can always slip in here till I'm ready to use it so yeah all decorated already the only thing I didn't get that I wanted is that this ink is still not where I want it. I want my, want my pretty ink. I think I'm getting there. Oh, it feels like it might be changing color now. I think it's just a dark, yeah, it's changing color. A darker, um, yes. I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Yeah, it's a brown, but it's a dark, that dark sepia. Yeah, so totally. I'm pretty sure because if you go like this yeah I can see that color difference and then if I took like the black and did that next to it there's the black so you can totally see the there I can see the difference so that's that's good I'm really glad about that yeah so I'm, I'm super excited to learn some more about about um, this, how to use it, and I want to get it all set up. I need to get this plastic to mold around my pen, and um, because obviously it doesn't want to. <coughs> See if I can get it to. There we go. Anyway, it's just something I have to keep working on, and I will keep working on stretching that out. So yeah, I'm just going to leave this like this and not worry about it. And I don't know, you know, with some of this, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll put future to-dos and events. I'm not going to use this health one. I'm just going to let that continue on, I think, is camping since I am setting up a complete health one. I don't need this. And the way I set these up, I think I can just, I glued it on here and I think, I think I can just cut, I think I can just cut this page out and we'll be okay. So I'm not gonna do it too hard. So I don't want to take out a page I don't wanna take out. And I think that's good there. And then is there another one? Um, I don't really use the events one either. So I'm just gonna take out the events because that's really gonna go. Okay. Gotta just be sure you get, you get it without damaging. Oh, because it wants to take this one. Okay, well that makes sense. Okay, good, good. I don't want to damage anything. Okay, so the trips and camping, that's really big. Um, the remember, I'm just going to keep that there for now, but I think I'm going to switch it and then this big to-do. And I think the remember, I'm gonna take this out of here, come to think of it, and I'm gonna put it 
into that book because it's something I can just transfer every year and it makes more sense to have it in my planner rather than here. So. Oh, God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I was so worried. Yeah. Then I can just use this randomly to do notes in here um, and not... I don't have to do it in here, so I think I like that better, and I don't even need this to do. I don't need something that says to do on it, so let's just, let's just take this one out as well. Perfect. Okay, I think I feel better about that all around. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that craziness. Um, yeah, I like that. These Just these two together. Um, this works out really nice for me. See, now see, these are just bugging me. They're just bugging me. I just feel like I should take them out and just have this random notes and not this stuff at all. I, I just can't. <laughs> Because it's sticking out and it's bothering me. I'm just going to let it be some wonderful random notes. Because I don't, I don't need this. Take that one out. That was from a past trip. So it's not like I need to have it there. And that really does minimal damage. And I'm going to take this one out. Okay. And then I'll take these pages out because I need these I need these pages. <laughs> so we'll see how much we can get out and then I can just fix. Um, yeah, after all that work I did to put those in. Now I'm taking them out. <laughs> Honestly, right? What are you gonna do? But I like that better because then I can just um, use this when I need it for notes and then this for the planner. So I'll transfer my notes that I need to transfer in to the different places and we should be very good and very happy. So I like this, the fun owls and it coordinates. I think the colors coordinate and I like it a lot. All right, great. Thanks guys for watching. And I hope you enjoyed that. Bye.